with the Intimidate on Urshifu, um, it doesn't matter. But Surging Strikes, if you tear it, okay, it's already half health, so it doesn't matter. But keep that in mind for the next game. Landorus, Terra, Flying, can survive. Ooh. Goes down to the Bleak Wind Storm there. Unfortunately, no critical hits needed. That's a pretty potent Bleak Wind Storm ending into this Landorus. Dragon Energy comes in. Single target attack into this Heat Trend. Not enough to take the knockout. It's going to be whatever happens here with his heat It's going to be the heat wave. Look at the, the Tornadus. Resi Dragon Six is pretty handling. Ooh, I like that play, honestly, from Brandon. You know, there was a really good... Uh, yeah, you, you sacrificed the Landers because it was half health. But um, the Landers, I think, is going to be the key to winning in game two. I do think this is Grant's game to lose at the moment. It's just solely because Dragon Energy does so much. Um, and with the Urshifu... Okay, but this is the thing. Iron Hands is that last Pokemon. And that fake out, if you use that right... And it could be an easy pickup here. Um, I do think you gotta go for the fake out on Urshifu. I think you honestly just go for the fake out on Urshifu and um, Dragon Energy. I, I think you land either, I'm sorry, you, uh, Dragon Energy and you surging strikes the Heatran. Even if it tears your grass, I think you still pick up the KO because of the Dragon Energy. Uh, fake out. If you're on Brandon's side, I'd f I'd fake out the Reggie Drake out. That yeah, would be here's the Terra coming in. I believe this is Brandon's Terra first. It's gonna be the Heatran to grass. I don't if he, I'm pretty sure this either signals he faked out of the Reggie Drago or he wants to at least scare off the Earth Zoo because I think they don't want to take a certain strikes to the face and you know, it's, 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 yeah, you really want to take it. He wants to take the Dragon yeah. Energy Protect, but not the Surging Strikes. Instead, it's just close combat, no Surging Strikes needed, and he's trying to protect it for nothing. That's better. Yeah, that's a better move than Surging Strikes, honestly. I still think Surging Strikes would have been fine. I think he still would have gone down if he Terrored Water, but close combat's just more uh, efficient. And you kind of actually want this Iron Hands to go for a Wild Charge onto you, because Dragon Energy would oh, have picked up the knock. If they Wild Charge onto the Urshifu, I think Dragon Energy picks oh, the knockout. Oh no, it is Wild Charge into Urshifu. It does take the knockout there, but I think the recoil is enough to pick up the self-KO onto this Iron Hands, yeah. and it is. And that is, ex that was a really good play there from Grant by going for, I still think it would have knocked out even if you didn't close combat and get the defense drop, but this, that's been a theme today. Knocking out your own Pokemon or, or hurting your own Pokemon. We saw it earlier with the Weezing switch outs um, going into the, or boosting the Chi Yu's special defense drop, uh, its Beads of Ruin, and then Chi and Pao's uh, Sword of Ruin. And here we just saw it again with the recoil damage. Yeah. So many things all over the place. And it's just crazy that we're seeing all these numbers come into play. You know, first neutralizing gas, now just getting a couple turns incorrectly. And I really don't know if Brandon would have done anything differently that could have won him the game, maybe. I just. Don't see a path he could have came out against something like that Dragon Energy. Yeah, you know the hard part about the Dragon Energy here is you don't really have a way to beat Tornadus. And the key to setting up your team with Reggie Draco is, is Tailwind. And there's not anything that can really stop that. I do think if an Urshifu would have really helped uh, Brandon's side here, because it could have been able to just go for like a, a, like a Scarf or a Shifu. But, um, I mean, Landorus is probably your best bet of partnered with Hydreigon. Um, I think that's what you gotta go for, and just go for Rock Slide and Tailwind, and then Terra that Hydreigon to Poison, although you're... Because I think Landorus' Rock Slide can still do solid on Reggie Draco, but if a Terra's a Seal, then we're in a really interesting match. But basically, you gotta get rid of that Tornado, so otherwise, it's... it's or, or match the Tailwind again, but we saw Grant was able to stall that out. Yeah, I think another issue for Brandon is that he has manual Tailwind and not Prankster Tailwind yeah. that high Dragon, so he's never going to have the speed advantage at any point. He, all he can do is, like, match it. But then where does his Sweepers go? Because it looks like his Sweepers are probably just Landers and Monkey Dory. And speaking of Landers and Monkey Dory, hey, Monkey here. Dory! I actually really like seeing the, all the new Pokemon on stream. And, um, okay. Um, it's a good leap. I have to admit, it's a good leap. Because Monkey Dory is really fast. Uh, it, it's not necessarily Sleeper, it's more so support. Parting shot's really important as well on Reggie Draco. And it has fake out, Monkey Dory does. So I think right now, I think right now your best bet is to just go for a fake out on. I don't know. I think. I think the best bet is to fake out on Tornadus and you turn out with Landers. That's my guess. But I don't know. I, I think there's so many different ways that this can go. Fake out goes into the Ribble before this Monkey Dory. And Ribble is just going to start a push, tries to go for a fake out of his own. Landers U turns into the Ribble, so it's going to take a lot of damage. And now we're going to see what the Landers for Brandon switches into. And I want to think this might be Heatran. I'm going to guess it's either Heatran or, or I would. I could be Hydreigon. Oh, it's Iron Hands, actually. That's acceptable. It does not take a lot from a Bleak Windstorm. So you should be fine here. 
It's going to be the Blink Blink Storm that's going to come out from this Tornadus. And there's not really a lot of damage to Iron Hands. And those are around half the Monkey Dory, but it's a double speed drop. Actually, so Tailwind may not be necessary right now. <laughs> that is the opposite. <laughs> that is the actually opposite of what normally happens with Blue Quick Storm when you double miss. But uh, th that's a very lucky play there. I don't actually know if it's going to matter. Yeah, it, sh it shouldn't matter to us. Iron no. Hands. It will matter to Monkey Dory. But I think this is a really safe Monkey Dory switch because you can fake out that Roll Boom or the actually, frankly, a Tornadus. And uh, Roll Boom can't really do much if you do have that Heat Train in the back. Now's a good time to play uh into it or by faking and then i i would fake out um yeah i would fake out rollaboom here and then switch but i'm actually surprised we're seeing monkey dory stay in and tornadoes protects as well so sludge bomb goes into the rollaboom uncontested yeah. that's a knockout and then unfortunately that weak one storm speed drop did not save rollaboom okay the reason i'm surprised is because yeah we have tailwind right we have we have that tailwind coming up for grant right right now and let's see reggie we're gonna see reggie draco why Monkey Dory stayed in, or why I'm surprised Monkey Dory stayed in, is because if you you kind of knew that was going to happen, and I think we should have seen a switch out back to Landorus to at least put a little bit of pressure on um, on the Tornadus here. I don't know. I feel like there's it's just tough because there's nothing that Brandon's team could do against Reggie Draco. You could just click Dragon Energy and right now knock out both of these two. It also depends on, uh, yeah, now we're, 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 he's going to get the speed control with the Tailwind here. Dragon Energy, I mean, we saw it not knock out the Iron Hand, so I was doing Drain Punch. It's going to be the return option. This Monkey Dory will be going down here. Yeah, Iron Hand is a lot better than I actually was expecting it to take it, so Drain Punch could be a very big move here for Brandon's Iron Hands, depending That's on what happens here. It is Drain Punch into the Reggie Drago. This half his health. It's going to be a lot of HP recovery thanks to the high HP stat of Reggie Drago, and it's a, around near 75%. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all um, for Brandon. That Iron Hands, don't, we've got to remember, a single target last turn, and it still took it. Um, that's the play, going into Landorus. Landorus, it will probably not take a Dragon Energy at this at half health. It, it could. It's 50-50. But either way, I think you've got to go for Reggie Draco and target Landorus, because, let's be real, looking at, well... Considering how much Iron Hands recovered, I still think targeting Landorus is the best play. Even though you have Reggie Drake, I'm sorry, you have uh, Urshifu in the back, which can get rid of the Landorus for good. I still think overall that if you're able to, I, I think you know what, double attack, go for Dragon Energy, Bleak Wind, see if that knocks out Landorus, and then have Urshifu clean up in the back. But that it's scary. But I think it may be their only call. I don't. I think that's. The I think even if he does go for that boy, Iron Hands has a very good chance of surviving without any critical hits going anyway. Yeah, that's why I'm thinking you gotta go with the double drag the double attack here with the bleak wind and dragon energy just to get Oh, Iron Hands. who'd he miss here? He missed the Iron Hands! That's, that's the important one! Oh Oh, that's a big miss onto the Iron Hands. Landers gets speed drop, so no matter what, Richard Dragon gets his dragon energy off into this Landers, which is enough to take a knockout. Iron Hands shrugs it off nicely. Yeah, that Iron Hands is going to recover if it goes for a Drain Punch. Wild Charge, you're hoping right now if you're Grant that they Wild Charge in the Tornadoes. Nope, it's no... Okay, well, the Red Drake does survive 28 HP, so it could get a Draco Meteor off. That would be crucial. Um, really comes down to Brandon's last Pokemon here. Um, if it is Heatran, that is High Dragon. Dragon. Which does have a good matchup against these two Pokemon, although I don't think it'll have a good matchup towards Urshifu in the back without going for that Terra Poison. It's a so 50-50. <laughs> it's a so 50-50. I think you kind of Drain Punch Reggie. You, you Bleak Wind, Protect Reggie Draco, um, or, Dra or Tailwind, or Draco Meteor. You, you just, it's either or. And then you would do that on the next turn, obviously. But I think here... We see the Thrasalization come out here. This is going to be, I think this is Brandon once again for you. This, this is good. If you're Grant, you wanted this Terra to see. And so High Dragon. That's what you wanted because you wanted to lock that Urshifu onto Surging Strikes late game. And now you know you don't have to worry about a late game Terra, in which, because you, you have the 50-50. Close Combat would be resisted by Poison. Surging Strikes is resisted by Dragon. Oh, no, no Protect Frank and Reggie Drago. Weak Wind Storm misses the High Dragon. That's fine. If you're, that's fine. You you can pro you need right now to get rid of the Iron Hands with this Draco Meteor. Okay, Draco Meteor does go into this Iron Hands and it is not enough. Oh. He's an Assault Vest. Oh, that's painful. Okay, right. Tailwind does go up, so if Tornadus goes down this turn... Wait, actually, no, it's still, I think it's still a full HP. Heavy Slime goes into this Tornadus, so yeah, it's full HP. It's going to take a whole lot of damage. Overwhelm is still attacked. This isn't bad. This is not bad. Here's, not bad. here's the thing, though. Okay, Grassy Terrain's forgotten, first of all. Does the Tailwind go away here? It does not go away. However, it's Brandon's last... Grant's last turn of Tailwind, so if Tornadus goes down... I think Brandon now has a complete speed advantage. Yeah, you protect Tornadus right now. And basically, you go for... I don't know, I, I think... 
Earth power or protect. I think you you go for a pr dual protect, then you tailwind to target the Iron Hands. Because like I said, it's going to come down to whether or not Terra Water Surging Strikes is able to one hit uh, KO Hydreigon. Terra Poison. If, if if Grant can do put maneuver this right, it's game over. He's got it. If not, if it doesn't knock out, I think Brandon can one hit KO it with a Draco Meteor. With Dark Pulse, what's the choice for High Dragon to go into that uh, Tornadus Drain Punch into the Reggie Drago? Brandon really doesn't have a whole lot of options left. Tailwind does go down for Grant, but he'll just reset it. Yeah, that's that's crucial. You need to reset that Tailwind right now. Uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, I mean, now we now I had to ask a question. I mean, searching strikes should. I, I, I think you have the Terra to get the knockout because I think High Dragon's defenses are actually set to be pretty good. Yeah, they are. They really are. I think right now, you go for an Earth Tower on Iron Hands. You have to. There's no, there's no choice. I just, cause I I just don't see any other way working here. And the but the thing is, if you do that, the good news with with uh, uh, the good news is, oh snap. Okay. What's banking the, what's banking on well reggie drago switches actually so wants to at least get it back on the a better situation next time minus two special attack rock that took from that drake meteor Urshifu yeah. switching in here tornado sets the tailwind but Urshifu could be in a lot of trouble depending on yeah. what the, the dual attacks do drake meteor goes into the oh and he gets into the reggie drago slot it's a one hit knockout yeah i kind of saw that coming actually i just because you go Reggie Draco. I don't think Dark Pulse would be enough, and I think that 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 Draco Meteor was just the brilliant, brilliant play right there from Brandon. You had to commit because if they did switch like that, then you basically have just won the matchup here because that Hydreigon does outspeed Reggie Draco. Um, the thing is, and that's why we saw the switch out because yeah, you couldn't have actually knocked out the Iron Hands. Uh, you, uh, but the Draco Meteor one hit. I think it was a good play, but. It's just one of those situations where High Dragon, it, its speed is so good. And I think you said it earlier that we saw it in Series uh, 1 and Series 2, now known as Regulation A and Regulation B. It, it's a nice pick here. It's so much more defensive than you'd expect, and the Levitate with Terra Poison is really useful. Yeah, especially with the lack of Psychic type Pokemon nowadays, and that would only give you, like, really the Cresselia treatment with that Terra Electric. We are going to see this Trastalization into Steel for the Reggie Drago, but maybe a couple turns too late. Yeah. Um, Dark Pulse is just going to bypass that option, and we are going to game three here. Brandon Davis doing his absolute best to outlast this Reggie Drago, and so far, game two, he's done it pretty well. That was brilliant. Yeah. I think it was, you know, Grant played it, right? There was a lot of luck involved. I'm, I mean, but not, not to discount Brandon's play, because he played everything right. Uh, I, I think, but I, that Reg, that Draco Meteor hit on, um, I know it was, less, if that missed, or if you went for the 50-50 call and went for Dark Pulse. Because that was also such a risk. Because if you Draco Meteored into that Reggie Draco spot, then you, that would have lowered your special attack and ensured that Urshifu won the matchup. So it was a risky play. Paid off. You needed to read Grant like a book, and that's exactly what Brandon did. That is so a really, really good play there. So now we're going into this game three. I had to think that we'd see the same exact four Pokemon for game number three because for, for Grant, he did everything well. He just had a couple bad reads. And then for Brandon, you have to bring the same four just to outlast a Reggie Drago. Or is there any other option that could potentially pop up such as like that Ogre Pond? Okay, maybe... Because if Ogre Pond just goes for Trasalization, it could have a better chance of surviving at any rate if Draco goes off. But then you leave yourself susceptible to something like that Rillaboom. I think... Kind of gotta go with the same weights. Yeah, I just, I don't, I'm not actually a fan of Brillaboom here. I, I don't know if it's necessarily the greatest call. There's a lot that takes on, takes it on. I mean, it did take, it did, it's high horsepower. I actually did not do a whole lot of damage yeah. to Iron Hands. That's exactly why I'm thinking it's a good option to maybe go into Golden Go, which can stall Iron Hands out just slightly more. Um, but... You could also go into for a draft. It's not even. It's not a bad. It's not bad at all here. You got to watch out for the thing is every Golden Go is not the greatest because you got to watch out for Landorus. Rail Boom just doesn't do a ton of damage on this team, and for a draft is a bit fragile compared to it. But I do think it is the. I think it's the right call. I do think here it's the right call rather than than uh, because especially if they go for especially if we see the same lead on Brandon's side, which was Monkey Dory Landorus Therian, he can just go into for a draft on one side, set up your Tailwind, and just start sweeping with both of them. And I think that's going to be important.
Well, Wolf Leads have been locked in here. Well, round number five, our game three here. And we're gonna see Brandon lead high dragon monkey Dory. And we're gonna see the tornadoes and the I believe I saw a Reggie Drago on the screen. It is the Reggie Drago. Okay, um, time to switch. <laughs> yeah, do exactly that. That's exactly what I would say. You tailwind and you swap to bleak wind. Um, Brandon. I think you just kind of for, need to go for the fake out tailwind. It is safe. You're gonna take that bleak wind no matter what. And I think that ye, right now for Grant though, Reggie Draco is gonna switch out. It's this for Rath though. If Monkey Dory went for that fake out, it cannot be worked on an armor tail. But if it went for a sludge bomb, party shot, or a psychic, we have the complete opposite stick and no fake out from this Monkey Dory. Kind of saw that for a drop coming. To be honest, you don't. Parting shot. It goes into the tornado. So Bleak Wind Storms are going to do a little bit less damage, but it does open up a switch in for but something like... Okay, but what are you switching? Because Landers is not really giving him much options here to intimidate, other than maybe a U-turn into this Parika Rath. Landers is good here because you're going to set up that oh, Tailwind. Yeah. yeah. That Tailwind's coming out from High Dragon. No doubt about it. And then you just can start locking onto rock slides. Let's see, that's going to be the case, actually. And it is going to be hijacking going to Tailwind. It's free to do whatever it wants. And looking at this free graph, is it forced to go for Terra Fairy here? I don't know. I think you switched into Urshif. I think you switched into Urshif. Oh, gosh. It's because it has to be wary of both a Dark Pulse and a U turn. Okay, this may be an interesting call. You have Trick Room. And. Well, Brandon seems fast. That could be something you want to take use of because you could. I actually wouldn't be surprised if we see a switch into <laughs> Reggie Draco and then like Terra Fairy Trick Room and then Dazzling Grim. Oh, he, oh, this is a big read if Brandon Ooh. catches this Terra Poison. And oh my god, if this is. I think this is. No. No, this is Grand. Okay, no, Brandon did not go for the Terra. That Psychic is going to go straight into a Dark Type, thinking he was going to go into Poison. That was so good. <laughs> that was a great play. Didn't work out here. Uh oh, but it, it was a good, anyway. Okay, it wouldn't have hit anyway. Good play though. I think that's. I think we are gonna see the U turn on Lander. Oh, oh no, it's rock slide. Right. It's gonna do fifty percent to this tornado. Actually, no, it goes down to a sash. I think for a critical hit. Goes down to the sash on a critical hit. It's weak wind storms is not gonna hit us harder because of the party shot. It is gonna get it off. No flinches, thankfully. And what does it happen here? If Blink Sword does connect, that parting shot actually Ooh. does actually gives Landers a bit more survivability. Free guy goes to the psychic, thinking that the High Dragon is gonna go tear poison, but instead it just protects. You're pretty safe here, actually. You just go ahead and protect your Landorus and go I'm sorry, protect your Tornadus. Go for Dazzling Gleam. Uh, it threatens that High Dragon to go into a Terra. Or I mean you could psychic, but I think Dazzling Gleam's safer. Um, and I think Protect on Landers is safe. You could also, because it's locked onto Rock Slide, you know what? I, you could also switch into Urshifu, but I would be wary because I think that High Dragon's definitely going to go for a Dark Pulse or Draco Meteor on the other slot. I would do it for Draco Meteor because it keeps your High Dragon in, doesn't lower your special attack drop if you don't switch because it'll just target the first draft and then you basically get a free pass. Um, but I think you're going to have to tear out a poison if you do that. But like more likely, Brandon's going to switch out here. Tornado switches out actually, so Tornado. Yeah, Urshifu a bet. Okay, well, we're gonna see what comes in here. It's gonna be Urshifu. It does, it did, we did see it take a uh, trigger meter not so well earlier. Lenders just once again with one rock slide. Decent damage onto the free graph, almost nothing to this Urshifu. Dark Pulse into the free graph slot, so we're hoping for a big flinch here against this free graph as the life board takes a bit of recoil damage. Oh, free there it is. Gets there the it flinch. Is. You got a surge. Okay. Well, I still think you're not in a bad spot if you're Grant. You surging str I actually think you know what? <sighs> it's so tough. I think you. S uh, you, you surging strikes. You surging. You have to surging strikes Landers and go for a dazzling gleam, because either they lose their high dragon and your your Urshifu stays in, or they lose both of theirs. On um, there's one thing that would stop that combo. That is if Brandon goes for a. Terra. switches. If Br if Brandon goes for a Terra on this High Dragon, it'll be very good. Well, Iron Hands is coming in here, so he wants to take the Dazzling Gleam a lot better than the Landorus wants to, because I believe that Landorus is going to be in a win condition here, and there there's is. a Terra there on the is. High Dragon. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Grant's in a good spot. I'd, uh, I'd say... Um, I mean, it's a good spot if it looks for Psychic. If it went for Dazzling Gleam, it's still susceptible to something like that Urshifu, but... Like, it would have to be, you have to cover for this Terra if it were to work. And I, Surging Strikes goes into the Lander's There's, slot. Okay, this may be, a, okay, I guess it, this may be a bit of a hot take. 
I think Grant's not in a bad spot right now. I know Brandon just tarot and everything's looking good, but there's one thing here that's really important. Draco into the Urshifu. It will get the knockout from this range. So even if High Dragon goes down, it will take a one-for-one -one trade with his Urshifu. And if that's that one-for-one -one trade happens, did Brandon win that? I honestly right now think... It's dazzling leaves, so it's not going to be... That's fine. That's totally fine. This is what happens. You have one more turn of tail. Okay, here's the thing. They cannot fake out, right? Use that to your advantage to set the tailwind up and then um, go for the psychic. That or, or dazzling gleam. Honestly, uh, I would actually psychic this iron hands because the thing is in the back, um, you could well, you have your tailwind. If you can get rid of this hydragon, it you get rid of tailwind, but it's also minus two, so it cannot do much damage onto Reggie Draco. So I think Grant's not in a horrible spot, but it is looking like it's Brandon's game right now. Brandon does have Landry's and Monkey Dory in the back, so we don't have to worry about the Ogre Pond or the Heatran in this battle. We do see the Reggie Draco in the Grant in the back for Grant. I have to think something has to switch at this turn, and I think Monkey Dory is gonna have to be a target. Yeah, that's the that to me that's a wise call. I but, think. But it's like, who do you switch it? Oh no, switch outs actually. We're going to see a straight tailwind. And Free Grab is going to get a knockout onto something. It's going to be a psychic, and he's trying to. He's going to go ahead and try to knock out this high dragon from that range, and it does get that perfectly. What did the Iron Hands do here? I think Grant is in. I think Grant could just win. It, I mean, could go for. I would probably heavy slam this. Heavy slam sends the tornadoes. That's not the one I would have hit, um, <laughs> because it's now down to a. Three Pokemon for Brandon and a full HP Reggie Drago for Grant. Bring in Landorus here is the is the call. I do think, if I'm not mistaken, Reggie Draco can stall. It's Monkey Dory. I think he just clicked Dragon Energy. <laughs> he just clicked Dragon Energy and Dazzling Gleam, right? Monkey Dory is holding that Focus Dash, though. You could get rid of Ferg Giraffe, but then at the next turn, you just click Dragon Energy again. <laughs> I, I think I think this this is a really bad spot for Brandon. You're just able to spam Dragon Energy if you're Grant, and yeah, you'll take a hit from Monkey Dory. But the worst thing they can do is Psychic you. And as long as you have about half health with Reggie Draco, I think you could still pick up the knockout on Landorus. So let's see. Oh my goodness! How I mean, this game is unraveling down to a pretty big dilemma here, as uh, Fake Out cannot be used because of the Armor Tail. Monkey Dory has that Focus Sash, but will it get a second attack off? It's a better question to be asking here, as both Pokemon go down here to your minimum health. Iron Hands face, Monkey Dory down to Sash, but this Farigraph should just be faster in Tailwind. Monkey Dory's fast. I think Farigraph, it depends on its... If Farigraph here... It is faster. It is. Okay, so it is. No, that's also something you can read. I mean, if both of these players do make top cut, that's something you can know going forward, is that Farigraph is not min speed. It has speed, at least uh, some speed investment, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, yeah, I think at least 80 speed plus. Um, and like I said, if Reggie Draco had at least half Landorus, would be a goner. And here, you just click Dragon Energy and say good game to your opponent. What a way this game ended. The battle is canceled. Brandon Davis has to surrender, unfortunately, as Grant Weldon wins round number five with that trusty Reggie Draco outlasting all of Brandon's gimmicks and surviving. Reggie Draco is amazing this game in this format specifically the uh, there's one very common pokemon you may have heard of it it's called fluttermane uh that could definitely takes it out but partner it with something like rillaboom now with grassy glide you got yourself a really nice core there i think grant's team is just built really really well between stopping priority having protect on tornadoes so you can last other tailwinds as well as set your own it's just a really strong team against a lot not to mention you have choice scarf urshifu which just does so much damage and if you're in a tailwind versus tailwind matchup that helps goldengo helps for that rillaboom with its priority it's a really real really well-built team not to say but brandon isn't brandon did a ama amazing as well and i think both players have a chance to win this if they both end up in top cut and you know what it is very possible both can it, it is possible but we are done with the swiss round so now we're gonna await our final eight standings and I mean, who knows who's going to make top cut? There are some people that are going to miss out. Yeah, this is a competitive day. We have, a, I believe, it is a bit more players than last week, so they're going to have to see a couple more misses. I, th I uh, I'm kind of rooting for someone that brought a golem today, a Lola golem. I want to see that on stream, and I'm, there's a possibility they went three two, so we'll see. But um, I am very excited because I think we're going to see. This is, you know, our second uh, gym challenge Sunday in regulation E. We've seen a lot of 
uh, meta calls kind of become more solidified. Nine Tails, Alola, uh, Ogre Pond, Heat, Hearth Flame form. I don't know. Do you have any like calls you think are are like kind of being explored today? Like Weezing. Yeah, Weezing obviously. Is, I feel like Weezing is the only answer we've been seeing as the meta call yeah. for this tournament. I agree. Absolutely. We'll stick around. We're gonna be back with our top cut very soon. See you then.